day to everyone. Hope you are all doing well. Hope nobody's uh, stuck at home in a bad place. Uh, what we're doing today, we're doing episode number two. But uh, I saw that there was a new mod for a grain wagon, and I need to get that grain wagon because it very much reminds me of uh, back home. So I'm going to be buying that, but I just want to show you what I had going on first of all. Uh, in our last episode, we had a uh, wagon like this that we purchased, and uh, I figured this would be good enough for the small tractor that we had because, yeah, as you'll remember, we're starting everything off small with the tiniest little Massey we ever done seen. But I figure we could go a little more old school than this. You know, th this is kind of almost a high tech trailer compared to that old tractor. So, what I want to do, I want to go into my garage and this little wagon here, this is the white one that I was just looking at, I'm going to sell that because we don't need it. Oh, I guess I got the fork of these. But instead of that, what we're going to get is a modded wagon that is probably way at the end. There's the Ferguson three-ton tipper. It's not what I need. I wanted the gravity wagon. That's what I've been looking forward to. So we're going to grab this one. And main color. Let's see what we got. Obviously, got to be massy red. And our rim color. White, beige, silver, metal. Heck, why not go metal? That don't look too bad. Not bad at all. So, uh, we got 14,000 liters, I believe, is the, uh, the measurement they're going to use. And our wheel setups, those are some nice looking wheels. We can go wide on them, or standards, that's kind of cool. Michelin doesn't offer any. Lizard, only Trellenberg. But Michelin probably has the most realistic looking tires for me. So, I think that's the wagon we're going to buy. Awesome. So right away I can tell this is a big wagon. Let's take a little look at that for a sec. It's a lot bigger than I remember them. Yeah, we, we had much smaller ones growing up, so... This should definitely fit a lot of material. And this hitch looks a lot weaker than the ones I remember. So here's the hope and that animation works for this side door to open up when we dump. Otherwise I'm going to be a little disappointed in it and I'll probably end up getting a different wagon. Because I love it when animations actually work out. Oh, a little drift there on the wagon. It looks like we got a hitch in the back, so that means multiple wagons, which is also something we would have done in the past. The ladder is there. Uh, signals work. Perfect. All right, we got her all situated here. Let's uh, hire a worker and uh, no. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that ain't working. Wonder if it's too late or what the deal is. Now let's go as high as we can and let's just see what happens. I have no idea. I'm ever going to be able to tell where I all sprayed. I wonder if I can hire a worker now or if they're just going to say, nope, not going to work. I'm going to do one pass. Just to uh, see what it looks like on my map after I do one pass if uh, it's too late for it or what the deal is. My poor plants are getting crushed. Oh well. What can you do? It's a little late in the season to be spraying, I guess. I'll see if it makes any difference on the map. So it does show that my past did fertilize. And it's only the first level, so that is kind of disappointing that I didn't spray sooner. Oh well, we'll uh, move on and uh, we'll get to it. But uh, as we see here, orange is, or sorry, 17 is definitely ready for harvest, so... I think I can get the combine going on that first and uh, we'll continue spraying as the combine takes its time harvesting all that stuff there. So, Well, 
I tried getting the header on a header wagon and it was not working so well for me with the forklift so I tried a wheel loader with a uh, header adapter and wouldn't you know I couldn't use the loader anymore it would just want to operate the header so I couldn't lift the header at all I had to kind of jimmy rig everything together but at least I had the common sense to park my header right by the field so I didn't have to go and get it from somewhere else so here we are let's see if we can hook up to it I think that's just a little bit on the high side there for him so let's move that truck out of the way and let's get to harvesting for once goodness me so I think that header wagon is probably going to end up being parked for the most part we'll find a good spot for it somewhere but let's get to harvesting from my vantage point here I can tell that I kinda started the combine in the middle of the field so at some point we're gonna have to make some adjustments oh well we will let him do his thing and in the meantime we're gonna get back to spraying here now I have no idea how I can tell where I've all sprayed already so I'm going to have to kind of take a stab in the dark here and just say maybe about there. Might be a little overspray, but it's better than not enough, right? Yeah, because uh, from the look of the soil, I would say we're somewhere about right there. All right, let's uh, zoom in and uh, go first person. Turn on our sprayer and let's do this. <laughs> We're just going to watch our sunflowers continuously get folded over while we spray here. In the meantime, I'm going to be watching my upper right corner, seeing when our helper is almost full of uh, soybeans, or I guess the combine. But you know what I mean. The spraying is all done. Tractor's back in the shed and this thing is at 86 percent so that's good we're pretty close to getting full here the truck is just over there with the gravity wagon i am going to try pulling it with a tractor yet but since the truck is there already and i just parked the tractor i think we'll just use the truck for the time being and i have a feeling by the time he's done this pass he's going to be full so let's hop over to the truck and maybe slowly follow him I haven't checked the prices just yet for uh, our uh, crop. I should probably do that right about now. Just see what the market looks like because I would like to sell. And uh, depending on how much money we make, that is going to determine. Oh, it looks like uh, our highest price right now is at the train station at 1752 mm-hmm so let's see if I can get nice and close yeah, I'm probably not gonna get much closer than that all right yes the door does work that is amazing I like it that is exactly how it should be let's see the animation at the end once it's done <laughs> just kind of chops it off that is cool yeah, I'm happy with this. This is going to be a wagon for me to use for quite a long time. The uh, farmer side of me says, well, if there's uh, one combine working, why can't we uh, go and cultivate this over? I think this is much smaller than the header, so the combine should technically always stay ahead. I don't think this thing can cultivate faster than 12 clicks an hour, which is the speed that the combine's no doubt going. So yeah, we're going to give the old tractor a go. See if we can torture her a little bit. And let's hire that worker. Alright lady, let's see how this works. Beautifully from the look of it. Man, it's doing 15 clicks an hour. <laughs> I might have to watch out so it doesn't run over my combine. I thought that cultivator was going to be a lot more of a problem. That does not appear to be the case at all. I gotta check and see what I got for a cultivator. 
So this one needed 90 horsepower in order to run it. And my tractor's running rough shot on it, 2.6 meters. Goodness. Now I'm kind of curious if I can't get a bigger one. Because, yeah, this this took nothing. Cultivator, where's there's a 2.6? Was that in the back, or where did I find that little one? Yeah, that was the one. And it said 90 horse. I downloaded that mod just so I could have a tiny one. <laughs> and it seems like it's owning it. That one needs 100. That one needs 120. I bet you I could run this off the Massey and still do pretty well. Even though it requires 120, which is way out of proportion for the tractor. Okay, so I see I made a mistake and I had to cancel that contract. So what we're going to do now is borrow items. And now it shows field four is the place we're going to go. So where we're at right now, field four is off that general direction. I do see it. This might require a bit of off-roading if we want to go that way, but I don't think so. I think we'll just take the highway. So the nice thing about doing cotton baling is you don't need to pick up the bales right away. Like The harvester will just drop them off at the back just like a normal baler would. So we don't need to be too terribly involved in it. Uh, we can get them going. It's not like uh, combine harvesting where you, know, you have to dump them out every once in a while. So we're going to get this combine dumped out. And uh, we're just going to hop straight on over to this uh, cotton harvester. And uh, we're going to go start to bring that back to field number four. I can see it off to the right there, right behind that silo and train station. Well, this is obviously going to take a while because this machine has a tremendous top speed of 25. So while I go and shuffle both of these machines over, I'm going to join you guys back at my field 17. Meanwhile, back at field 17, we still have this lady cultivating like she's going out of style man that tractor is getting dirty it's got 1.2 hours on it already which let's face it if this was uh, real life it would probably be like a hundred hours for the amount of uh, cultivating she's done but she's doing good tractor is quite dirty and there's her old combine just working away too we can see it's at 27 percent so I believe that came to 8,600 liters was the uh, final count on the bin, something like that. So that was really cool to see. I'm watching the tractor in the background there, making her a little three-point turn. It's kind of cool to watch the NPCs work sometimes. So Yeah, it looks like I could probably get the other harvester back to the field before this thing is full. So why don't we skip over there? All right, so here we are. Kind of a cool looking machine, really. It's got lights everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna unfold it. You can see the top end sort of lifts up. I guess that's that so you can compress your bale in there, perhaps. Dual wheels in the front. I don't really know much about cotton harvesting as it's not prevalent in my area. Cotton doesn't grow around here. But uh, it's kind of cool to see specialized machines like this. With all those pipes, probably air powered I would imagine. Blowing all the cotton into this hopper. Ooh, let's not, <laughs> let's not go airborne with this machine. That's probably not for the best. And I can't see anything else. I guess because it's a normal baler, it just dumps as it needs to. So I'm going to take this one way out to the far end of the field, and it's going to be doing short runs. And in the meantime, we're going to be watching out for any other bales that might have been popped out. This small field is ready for harvest, too. Too bad I don't own it. I wish I could harvest that yet, too. But hey, my hands are full. Let's just say it for what it is. My hands are really full. It looks like it's just picking the cotton off and it's... It is actually leaving the plants there. 
It's really interesting. I haven't seen a bale yet anywhere, so perhaps they did not uh, fertilize this really well and it's going to be kind of a minimal crop. Hopefully it still pays for the amount of workers time I put into it because I expect you'd have to have workers for this job if you have two harvesters. Don't know how else I'm going to run two harvesters by myself. So I'm going to I'm going to bring it way off to the far corner and it's going to start there and that way they won't run into each other right away. Give me plenty of time to finish the harvest on my field by the time these guys are ready to collide. This is not a very wide uh, header here at all. Three thousand one hundred fifteen dollars of wages. Wow, that's that's really clicking up there. My goodness. And it's five o'clock in the afternoon when we're starting our harvest. Uh, interesting timing. All right, let's have a look at this. So it appear there's some sort of shaft with spines on it or combs that's taking this stuff in picking it off I guess as yeah there's your big air hose for your blower blowing all this stuff up into the hopper oh uh, there I saw a little fan running okay and this belt is operating something there's a fuel tank I thought maybe I could look in oh there we are there's a little view inside the hopper you got your two or three augers running back there. Uh, compressed once, I guess. That arm must randomly move just to compress cotton whenever it needs to. That's my guess. Okay, well, off to uh, this field again. Oh, we're at 75. All right, soon enough. So this is the uh, bale trailer, and uh, they offered us a semi with it. It's got tracks on the back, I guess, just to help it. So the way we load bales with this is uh, we back against the bales, and you can see there's sort of like teeth on these uh, chains here. And uh, those will grab the bale, and they'll push them up on these rails. And I believe you can only load two bales in this trailer, if I'm not mistaken kind of a shame they have all this neck space but uh, can only load two bales but maybe the weight is the issue here I really don't know again cotton is not something that you'd see in my part of the country so it looks like my worker is just about uh, full with her uh, combine good stuff all right I think we can still manage to bring this thing back and uh, still be in time to unload the combine. That's at least the plan. Man, we are just about done this field. I would probably figure another three rounds and we should have her. This field did not take as long as I thought it would. Kind of makes me a bit happy. Now, this all gets me wondering, though. Would it be worth it getting a tipper that I could pull with the pickup truck? Or should I just lease a uh, large tipper that I could use with that bale trailer and haul off a load while using that other person's uh, t semi and uh, hauling off this load of soybeans to whatever place has the highest price. I wonder if I'm going to do that. Because that means I don't need to lease the truck. I just borrowed the truck. That might actually be a good choice. I'm going to go have to see what... It what the timing is like by the time we're done combining all of these soybeans here. We're getting very close now to uh, dropping the very first bale on this. It seems it takes quite a bit of material to fill this machine up, but for whatever reason, I think it's like 20,000 liters or whatever that's going to be in your equation. But yeah, we're 98% right now, so I'm looking forward to seeing this thing drop a bale. 98% oh it's 99 we're getting closer again so let's let's see this thing will it make it to the end uh, probably not quite 
no it's stopping all right so looks like it drops a belt out a little tabletop and there you go there's the bale that is a monstrous bale my goodness looks like the belt kind of pushes it out onto the field too well that's kind of cool to watch right on so I guess with that being done there's only one bale and there'll probably be one more or another half because this one's at 68 percent right on we won't need a load right away and my combine is done wonderful news so I am where's my truck it's at yonder end okay we'll just do a pipe out and uh, I'll park it off to his side so my cultivator can keep busy that sounds like a plan to me don't know why I'm backing away that makes no sense all right, let's bring that truck in. Let's see if we can fit everything on this wagon load yet. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to be sneaky and borrow that other farmer's semi. And I'm just going to lease myself a grain trailer, the maximum size I can, and just haul everything in one shot and get best price for it. And let's see. Like I got my eye on a tractor that... I want to upgrade too, but the thing is, our little tractor's been doing fine so far. Realistically speaking, I guess just more the comforts of having a cab would be nice and a front loader. But other than that, no, I think our little tractor's been doing wonderfully well. I have no complaints whatsoever. And I think that's it for uh, probably still a little bit in that combine, but we'll dump it out once we're back at the yard. There's a bit of a mad glitch there where it looks like it's dumping from a really high point, but as the soybeans get lower, you can see that it's still dumping from a high point. So, yeah, it's just a little texture, things like that, that the developer probably needs to work on. But kudos on getting the paint scrapes all on there. That looks really good. Shows that the wagon's been used a lot. And that was a really nice touch. So I think I'm going to park the wagon here for now, just up against the end. And we'll move the truck far enough away. Oops, I think I want to go this way. Yeah, 3% in the combine. Great. Lights on for safety. Let's bring the old combine home and uh, we'll let the old cultivator do its thing. It's about halfway done anyway. Over half, by the look of it. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, we will see you on the other side. So if we're looking at our prices here right now, uh, my soybeans, I got 59,453 liters out of my field. And so I'm probably looking at a trailer about 60,000 liters. And uh, right now the highest price is still the train station. So that is what we are going to uh, go with. So. I'm going to borrow this farmer's truck for a little bit, because why not? And before I head out to the store, I'm actually going to go purchase me something worth 60000 Let's see if there's anything. That's 48, that's 52, 55, 56, 59. That would... I want 60000 So that right there is probably the perfect trailer for that. Let's just lease it real quick. And it uh, cost me $4,000 roughly to lease that. But if I can uh, bring it all in one shot, then uh, I'll probably still make up for it, I imagine. And we're bringing it right over here. So I can just dump the trailer and return it. And take the semi and just bring it on back to the cotton field by then those cotton machines are pretty much going to be done I imagine so here we go there's there's a nice trailer right there oh boy that is a thing of beauty now that's what I'm used to seeing for grain trailers 
Oh, <laughs> hit the curb. Oh well. There we are. It's on tarp. Eh, we'll retarp it. Cause come on, it's it's a thing of, thing of beauty, right? We'll untarp once we're at our uh, yard. Sixty thousand to fit in there. That is great. Now these don't uh, offer hitches for uh, making land trains. There is a 70,000 liter that you can use. It has multiple colors and uh, that one offers uh, dollies in between and uh, you can make a land train as long as you want. So once we're up there in the world and, and we uh, have made our millions, then we might get a few land trains just for fun. But yeah, I'm kind of curious as to how much we're going to have made. So these trailers are kind of interesting. They have a tip front and a tip back. Right now, what we want is uh, we want this thing to start filling. And we want our soybeans right there. So yeah we got the front and back hopper and uh, you have to fill them separately and later when we dump we're gonna have to pick front or back for dumping if I am not mistaken that is how these work but Wilson trailers like whoever built these in game did an excellent job with these grain trailers they look absolutely amazing so just before I start dumping I'm gonna check the prices one more time just to make sure no one else outbid them so we get our maximum price because why not right I mean the train station was maximum price as we last checked and it's right close by oh this is actually quite the heavy load for this truck my goodness 23 was that the lowest speed it was going it seemed like it was struggling a little bit and there you can see it, it's got that nice little hopper at the bottom where it's dumping out of. You see the door slid away to the back versus that one has the door slid shut over top of the hopper. Makes for some nice visuals, there you go. Even the door is animated. That was 52 and a half? Wow. Okay, and here we go. My goodness, we should be able to uh, should be able to afford a new tractor if we want, plus some uh, seating equipment. This is fantastic news. So I'm going to leave that trailer right there. It's just a lease anyway. 51. So yeah, the price dropped there just a little bit. And if we look now, uh, train station is still 1752. So we did do our best competitive bet there. Well, there's nothing else to do but uh, harvest this cotton. So why don't we go ahead and get a move on that. I can see our first one is just right over here. And I'm sure there's a second one somewhere. Those boys are awfully close together by now. There we are. Kind of went through the wall, but that's fine. So it's in there. Okay. We'll do transport position. And I guess we'll have to see how uh, those... Oh, there is one more bale. Very good. Transport position. Other bale better not fall out. There we are. That was a much better load this time. And we're at 100% full. Well, we done just dumped off our uh, cotton here at the uh, spinnery. And uh, it looks like we got ourselves a completed harvesting contract. So we hit square to collect. And that's a little more money in my pocket, 7600 very good so I guess with that in mind then all the vehicles are gone now perfect so that means I didn't need to clean up any of the other vehicles 
That is exactly what I want to hear. So, that should do it for this episode. Uh, we did finish harvesting and uh, we're currently just cleaning up the field. Stay tuned for next week when uh, we harvest the sunflower seeds and uh, possibly plant our uh, field number 17 with something new. And also uh, buying a bit more equipment because so far we don't even have a planter yet. So lots to come. Lots to uh, stay tuned to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, you let me know down below. If you are new to the channel, you feel free to subscribe anytime you want. And you folks all stay safe out there. Stay healthy. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.